Greetings guys, this is Dokraft and today we are driving the Tiger 2 together with Crazy on this map, Serene Coast. <laughs> we are driving off towards the island part of this map as you can see because we think that we can proceed through there to kill the enemy. As you can see the wind chance is higher than 50 so we think okay let's go out there. We can do this. And we're in a platoon of two Tiger 2, so it won't be a problem. Crazy is a stock Tiger 2, though. So, he has the disadvantage of a weak turret. But he has the Tiger gun, which has a really good rate of fire still. The gun of my Tiger 2 isn't really capable of dishing out that much damage. Because it doesn't have a high DPM. It has 11 seconds reload time. And that can be a really big disadvantage in some points. And then a Tiger 2 on the enemy team makes a giant mistake. Crazy can take two shots. Blind and he is gone. So now we think, okay, let's try to proceed. The base campers are hiding behind rocks so we won't be able to hit them. But keep an eye on the map guys. As you can see the middle of the map is pretty much lost already. Enemy tanks have gathered all around there to come closer to our base. And I'm telling Crazy, okay, if the, en the enemy manages to proceed through there, we have to go back to the base to set up a defense. But now we think, okay, let's first check out which tanks are back here. We've lost two tanks already on the other flank. And I wanted to see first what kind of base campers are back there. There's nothing really to talk about, but then I see, okay, the enemies have pushed through this flank, as you can see here. So I think I'm going back to the base to defend. Crazy says, okay, I'm coming after you. I am taking down the base campers first. But I say, take care of the base campers later on. Let's first defend our base. But he says, no, I will defend for a bit longer. I say, okay, I hope I can manage to defend the base on my own. So I go off back to the base. I have to keep driving though because as you can see this flank is pretty much lost already. And it's just a matter of time before the last ally team mates will die. And it's 1-3 for the enemy. 1-4 for the enemy. And I've only done one shot of damage. I'm looking around if I can take some shots around here. But I have to keep driving forwards. So then I think, okay, they're outside my render distance. I just keep driving. And another ally dies. 1-5 for the enemy. As you can see, a lot of ally teammates are lining up at the base to defend as well. But there, KV5 was a really good player, showed by XVM. XVM is not working at the moment. Yeah, not fully working at the moment. But that KV5 is a really strong player. And as you can see, the enemy team has pushed through all the way. And my team is just taking fire. So I think, okay, let's start to work. We are six, uh, five tanks behind. It's one six for the enemy. And th the key thing that you want to do when you are... Yeah, outnumbered is of course make kills happen. Remove guns from the game. Okay, I think I don't have opportunistic shots here at these guys. But then I see... Boom. Headshot, that's one gun down. It's 2-7 now. See if I can take shots, but doesn't look like it. So then I think, okay, we have to kill this KV-5. He can put the pressure up really high. It's 2-8 for the enemy. Six tanks behind. Shit. As you would know, the KV-5 has got a lot of weak points on this tank. So it's just a matter of targeting down those hit uh, fear those weak points and shooting them over and over again. I take a shot from a Fury there. Doesn't do any damage, luckily for me. 
but I still want to try to engage this KV-5, but there's a big risk because I can, of course, take flanking fire from that flank over there. But then the KV-5 comes forwards. And I put a shot into his radio droid. I want to block the KV-5's fire to stop hitting the Ness horn. But I can't look behind me where the Ness horn is located. And unfortunately, the Ness horn gets taken out. Lucky bounce there on the side of my tank against the KV-3. Not a shot into the KV-5. And he keeps bouncing on me. The KV-5 is now down to a one shot. But here comes a AMX 1375. Who has got really good flanking capabilities. And boom. As you can see Crazy is also driven back. He is covering my ass back there. He's killing every base camper who is driving forwards towards our base now. He's doing a really good job as well. But I am just taking care of my flank. As you can see, always take a look around you to see where the opportunistic shots are. And always take a good look at the map. Don't have a shot at the KV-3. Have a shot at the VK. A little bit lucky that the shell goes to the left and... Perfectly goes into his turret. Oh god, Borsig. And as you hear, he's using the 105 of the 150mm, which has a really low penetration value, so he was not able to penetrate me. Luckily, because that gun would have done 750 alpha damage if it would have hit me. As you can see, here's the other enemy 1375. He drove back to. Make me try come after him, but that's not what I want because I could get flanked by enemies. But now he is going for me and I think, okay, let's keep my frontal armor turned towards him. But he gets away with it. Crazy is also doing a really good job there. He killed two tanks as well. But I see, okay, crazy, you have to deal with that 1375. I have to take care of this flank because there's a Fury, a Ryan Mattel Borsig, and still a KV-3 here to deal with. That shot misses. Crazy kills another two tanks. And we're at a Brothers in Arms medal at the moment. If both of us would survive this game. And it's 9-11. We've pulled the scores back really, really, really well. But there are still some dangerous enemy tanks here to take care of. But then I see, okay, there's too many enemies on Crazy's flank. And the Tiger and the 112 came back on this flank to help me out. So I think, okay, I'm going to help out Crazy. He definitely needs some help there. There's the Fury. Take a shot. And he's gone. Four kills. Eight kills in total for our platoon. So now I tell to Crazy, okay, Crazy, you take care of that VK, I take care of the Ryan Mattel Borsig. I know which gun he is using, I know how much health he's on. And the scores are equal at the moment. It's 11 11. I first want to find out where the Borsig is. I don't want him to get an ambush shot off on me because he could really have a good chunk of my health removed in just one shot. But I am tunnel vision actually. I am side scraping here. But what I don't see is that the building there is yeah, destroyed. And I saw some particles flying around back there. So that should mean that the Borsig has driven through that building to hide from me. But I didn't pay attention to the destroyed buildings to my left. But as you can see on the map, the Borsig is there. Luckily, it didn't get the ambush shot off of me. And what I want to do now is put the pressure up. I want to go at him as quickly as I can. My frontal armor towards him. And the shot goes into my track. But then the kill gets kill steal. And unfortunately, I turn my tank and... I get the baddest kind of bad luck you can ever get. I turn my tank around and the RT shoots me right in the side for almost all of my health points. 
I had almost 1500 health left and it got removed by the artillery just when I turned my tank and it was really painful to yeah get removed out of the game at this point because we were playing so well but it is 13-12 for our team and we have carried the game the thing we have to do now is of course to kill the KV-3 and the RT and Crazy has an opportunity for a yeah, Top Gun medal. I make some slight mistakes but it doesn't really matter. We are the ones that carried this game and not the team. The 112 and the other Tiger were just fooling around a bit. They were not helping us out at all. They were just yeah, trying to shoot whenever they could instead of helping us out where we wanted them to be. Well now the only thing that's happening now is that Crazy is going off towards the RT. Luckily he misses but his first shot goes into his track. He shoots him once I guess. Yes he shoots him once. But then the 112 of course comes in. Oh no the Tiger comes in and takes the kill. That is some really good marksmanship between our platoon mates. We have carried this game. Undoubtedly, we were 2-8 when I of 2-7 when I killed the first enemy tank and pulled the scores back to 2-7 for our team. So guys, let's now take a look at the post-game stats of this game. Okay, guys, as you can see, I did almost 3,000 damage and Crazy did just tie up onto 2,600 damage. I got four kills, he got five kills, I got 922 experience, Crazy got just a little bit more, 900, 980, 89 experience. I think that is because he survived and he, have, and he of course was shooting with a lower caliber gun. I've shot 14 shots, I've hit 11 and penetrated 11 which got me to 2901 damage. It's received 14 penetrations for and a few of course went into my tracks because I had almost 1500 health remaining at the end of the battle and one real penetration now two real penetrations for the RT that killed me and of course the fury that put one shot into me damage blocked by armor 3495 crazy shots 26 shots Hit 18 and penetrated 15 which got him the total amount of damage of 2550. It's received 8, penetration 6 and I don't really know how many of those penetrations really penetrated. And he bounced 2 shots of which got him a total damage block by armor of 1210. So guys, this was the video. I hope you liked me seeing play with Crazy together in a platoon, carrying a game that looks lost for a lot of players out there, but we still managed to pick it up. The lesson for this video is, when you are outnumbered, kill as many tanks as quickly as you can to remove as many guns from the game as possible. Until the scores are back to equal, you can rest and breathe again. <laughs> Alright guys, this was the video. I hope you liked the video, of course. Please leave a like down below as I did put a lot of time in making this video. I hope you liked seeing us play in the Tiger 2. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see on my channel more. And I will see you next time.